We just heard from a young sergeant who learned firsthand, and he shared with us tonight his path of service and sacrifice. Now he's living a life of commitment, continuing to serve. And you young boys and girls, that's what your mommy and daddy and all your relatives and your teachers are doing. They're serving. They're serving our God and our country. Once again, as I look at you here in the front row, I can't help but say thank God for young girls and boys like you. And don't worry about being the wiggliest boy in your school. <laughs> you can't sit still for two seconds. <laughs> Brian reminds me of my son, Jason. Okay. Now, as I said in that short video, and we all learned, especially those of us that have been elevated to the position of, in life as grandparents, the most powerful force on earth is love. And if I may share how it really came crystal to me, on that battlefield on 6 July, when I started to take casualties, my medic came to me and told me that Sergeant John Houston was killed. A young 21-year-old. He shared with me the night before the letter he received from Alice. He yeah, would soon be twins. Naturally, my first thought was, why God? Why John? Why not me? Your instinct kicks in, you know that you have to pick up the slack and move on and do the work of more than one. We move on. A week or 10 days later in the hospital, I find out that John was able to only to share that letter with me alone. No one else knew that Alice was gonna give premature, give birth, and she gave him birth prematurely. And when that happened, there was yet another casualty, it was the Battle of Nam Dong not on the battlefield, but at home, when one of the sons born who died at birth, buried with his father in Arlington National Cemetery. 